started playing golf when I was two years old. My parents and my family have a golf course at home, so that's where I grew up. I didn't really get into it until I was 14, 15, for real. There's two national high schools for golf in Sweden, and I got into one of them. We were in a house, 25 people, uh, no, first, second, and third grade, because you only have three grades in high school in Sweden. And um, so we're all living together on the golf course, played light from morning till night, went to school together. Had two awesome coaches there, which was also a major reason that I'm moving here today. As the first international women's golfer for Cal State Fullerton, Martina Edberg's collegiate journey has been anything but simple. Just getting here and the first of all, the heat hit me really hard. That was the first thing, you know, practice right away out in the 110 degree weather. I almost fainted like twice and uh, I, I didn't eat for the first two weeks because I was just running from one place to another. I didn't know what I was doing, you know, scheduling differences and campus was huge at that time, I thought, and um, new foods, didn't like anything that I got a hold of. Um, so I ate like lettuce and tomatoes and cucumber for two weeks. You know, just trying to get down to the DMV and get through that whole process and get a driver's license and nobody knows nothing and it's insurances and it's like, I was in the hospital probably, I don't know, three times that first year because I got so sick because I was stressing out all the time. Um, had all kinds of things. I went through a CT scan. I had like, I got this bill for like $15,000. I was in there for three hours. And I was like, I went to the athletic department and I said, um, what do I do with this? <laughs> but yeah, it was all fine. But it was a, it's a, it was a, it was a crazy year. I ended up winning uh, the conference championship that year, which was kind of what I think made me come back because I was like, okay, at least I got something out of this whole year, and now I can kind of come back and you know reset and be, um, be fine with it. Fast forward three years, and Edberg has set a new Big West record with five consecutive Golfer of the Month honors and has recorded eight top three finishes in nine tournaments this season, heading into the Big West Championship. I've been very mindful of just sticking to one thing this year and just trying to improve that. I think has been a huge part of it all. And then the scores have just come with it. I wouldn't say that my best level has gotten any better yet, which is what I'm kind of waiting for and trying to perfect every every day, but my low, my my worst has gotten a lot better, which definitely is the reason why it's going pretty well right now. There's been a lot of things going on, so I'm just gonna go out there and try to have a, as much fun as possible. It's gonna be my last conference championship and my last regular tournament before the NCAA starts. I'm just excited to go out there. We've seen the course before, so I think it'll be It'll be good. It's kind of a shot maker's course, so I think I'll have some fun out there.